We all remember the clones in Star Wars films, right? That fought along the Jedi and how there were so many of them. Well, what if your military actually did the same thing? Instead of having people volunteer to be in the military, or people having to be in the military for a certain time, what if the military decided they will make their own troops and started making clones instead? Well, that is what we will talk about in this episode. But before we progress any further with cloning, please be sure to subscribe. And if you like, please share. Now let's get to it. How would this affect the world, but most of all, the clones, if military started cloning troops? These clones wouldn't be robots, they would be actual living beings that is a copy of someone else. But if there were so many of them, how would things play out? The governments for the countries should really consider making clones before cloning. Thousands of battle trained individuals with high volume of violence, in which case, they would have engineered them to age at a much accelerated pace, meaning that each clone would only live for maybe a decade. Still here. Look. Terrible. I'm not bad for a guy my age, right? Long enough to win the war, but certainly not long enough for the survivors to pose a problem for the government. No doubt, the clones would be useful during a war, which was why they were created. But once the war is won and finished, what would become of the clones when there would be no more use for them? Alternatively, the government could implement a genetic kill switch, which would make them highly susceptible to a certain rare virus or bacteria. Many people would feel that this would be cruel, especially to clones who helped win a war. And no doubt, there would be massive protests as people would be blaming the government for mass murder and killing innocent lives. So suppose the government decided not to kill the clones. Now the world is stuck with tens of thousands of clone troops who are currently lacking a purpose. What to do? Yeah, you can't just go around cloning people. That's just, that's crazy. They never will successfully interrogate into society. We're talking about clone soldiers here not former civilians. These people will have never experienced the love of the parents, will not have grown up to your society, and will not have any experience in dealing with a civilian society. On the contrary, they are trained killers who have been not just raised but engineered to kill people. We also have to take the many cases of PTSD among their ranks into consideration. Most people will most likely not feel safe having thousands upon thousands of identical potentially dangerous individuals become part of their communities, especially smart ones, higher intelligence, who might replace them in a lot of lucrative positions. Furthermore, flooding the workforce with so many individuals with similar skill sets will put entire industries out of business and possibly collapse your economy, or at the very least, shake it right up. They took our job. They Since the societal response to their arrival will most likely be negative, the only logical outcome is that these clone troopers will form their own groups on the edges of society. Traditionally, these have become gangs, which when led by smart individuals, which they all are, become a network of organized crime, identical mobsters. There could even be enough of them, and they could become angry enough to simply assault and take over the government outright. So, maybe it's not best to have governments start a clone army, as we saw in the movies. I hope you enjoyed. If so, please like and share, and be sure to subscribe.